I drive this every day, all hours of the day. I've never ever seen a train here. I've never even seen the crossing gate down. Gate down? I look both ways? No train? I'm not gonna wait. I drive a high performance vehicle, why would I wait? Wait? I did wait. I waited for the train to go by. Then I waited for the arm to go up. That's what you're supposed to do. The gate goes up and you go, right? Right? Dangerous in the car? No way. Sure, the phone's always ringing and the kids are going crazy, but you get used to tuning them out. You're a good driver. You don't think about something bad happening. You never think it'll happen to you. Then, just like that. That train, it's going 50 miles an hour. Doesn't seem like a lot, right? Till you consider this, it can't swerve. And it can take a mile for it to stop. If something gets in its way, and that something will get hit. And at 50 miles an hour, whatever gets hit will be destroyed. Like you, for instance, if it's your car that the train can't stop for. Comparing a train to a car is like comparing a car to an aluminum can. Car, can. You, like that can, don't stand a chance. Of course, that won't happen if you're not on the tracks when a train is coming, which you never have to be. Remember, you control the situation, not the train, you. And there's really only one thing you need to do to make sure you stay in control and don't end up like this can. You pay attention, that's it. Always expect a train. There are signs that help and warnings to follow. This is an advance sign. It's way out ahead of where the tracks cross the road, which is called a grade crossing, FYI. This means train tracks ahead. This is when you slow down and really start to pay attention. Then there's this one. It's called a cross buck, and it means the tracks are right in front of you. Some of them have flashing red lights and a big arm that comes down when a train is coming, in which case, stop. Don't try to go around the gates. Trains coming, you stop. Can you believe I even have to mention it? But people make bad calls like these all the time. Go figure, it happens. When the cross bucks don't have flashing lights and gates that come down, it's a little different story. Then it's really up to you to decide if it's safe to cross. Remember, where there's tracks, there's trains. And trains always have the right of way. You see the first sign, slow down. You look both ways and listen for the sound of a train. You turn the music down, hang up the phone, quiet down the kids, and you listen. Here's one more sign you should know. It means there are two sets of tracks, which is important because trains can come from either direction on either track at any time. And that reminds me, you know when you're waiting at a crossing for the gates to go up? You're already late, you're getting impatient, so as soon as they start to raise, you start driving? Well, don't. Wait to cross till the flashing red lights stop. There might be another train following right behind or coming from the other direction on the second track. I know, I know, you're in a hurry, but just take a deep breath and relax. It's only a couple more seconds and it could make all the difference in the world. Here's a few more things to file away under no exceptions. When you stop for a passing train, make sure you're at least 20 feet away from the tracks and never ever stop on a railroad track. If you're in traffic and you're not certain you can clear the tracks by at least two car lengths, stop before you cross and wait for the traffic to clear on the other side. There's not really much to it. You know, being safe around trains. Just know the signs, obey the rules, don't take risks, and don't think it can't be you.
So surprised. So instant. So trapped. You think you can make it. You think you're smarter than a train. Faster than a train? I didn't know. Such a good driver. You think you're being safe. So surprised. So instant. So trapped. You think it can't happen to you? Your friends? Your family? It can. Please, be safe. Always expect a train.